So how do we insert images or graphics? Um, we're going to create a new slide. Um, it's going to uh, get the same layout as the slide before. If we want, we can change it like that. So spring. Then click to add text. So this time I don't want to add text. I just want to insert an image. So I can just hover the mouse, insert table, insert chart, insert movie, insert picture. So I can just click on that and then go like that and choose or select um, an image. So I'm going to choose this one and you've got your image um, inserted. So now we're going to learn how to uh, modify the image, the dimensions, the positions, etc. So as you can see, when I click outside the picture or the image, like that, nothing happens. If I click once, it's going to select it. And how do we know where we can see the, I think they are green uh, squares. The green squares means mean that you can uh, redimension um, the image. So if I let the mouse hover like that, it becomes a double arrow and I can just drag wherever I want. The problem with this method is that sometimes when you drag uh, too much to towards one dimension, you've got something like that, which is not very um very pretty so what we can do is keep the ratio of the the width to height ratio so if i want to just have 50 percent of the image i want to reduce it by 50 percent what i can do is right click position and size and then keep ratio and just do uh, 418. As you can see, at the same time, it's going to recalculate the height. So the ratio is going to be the same. So if I say OK, it just did what I wanted it to do. Then if I wanted positioned somewhere specific, so if I wanted somewhere like here, but I want specific coordinates instead of doing something very um, yeah, probabilistic. So I can use um, the ruler, but it's not very precise, you know, it takes too much time. So what I can do, view ruler, I don't like this ruler. Um, you can say, okay, click, right click, position size, and then you can um, locate position um, for example, the top left corner of the uh, image at a specific x, y uh, position. So I'm going to say I want it to 3, 3. As you can see, I don't have to um, type the quotes that represent the measurement unit because by default, Impress is going to use a specific measurement unit for this um, field. So even if I only just type three, it's going to understand that I mean inches. So this is three inches and then three inches. So I used as reference point the top left corner of the image, or I could have used any um, of the nine other, any of the nine um, reference points or base points. Another thing I can use, I can do with an image. So I'm going to, oh, um, I can add text to the image. So if I double click, that means twice the left click, not the right, of course, double click on it. You see the cursor uh, like that and you just write something. And then I click outside and you've got the text in it. So if I don't like it, um, you know, uh, being uh, black, whatever, it's not very legible, so readable. So I can just go right click, text, 
and then change its appearance I don't want it um, in the middle I want it for example on the top blah 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 you've got text animation you want it to blink or whatever do something like that just in case I've never used it but at least now you know you can oh okay so another thing is maybe you want to add a line um, around the image so right click as always line and then you can add um, I don't know um, ultra fine to dot two dashes and red light red width of the line and whatever you want and it's going to add something like that I'm going to zoom a bit this is one of the things you can do um, and then um, another thing is um, you can align for example if you want it to be on the top and in the middle you can see that it's not very specific because this is not symmetric and plus I did it by hand um, so what I can do is just say I was here somewhere yeah I can right click align and then choose the horizontal and the vertical alignment so it's going to be centered and it's going to be on the top so now we've got exactly what we want as you just saw um, now the image is covering the text so you can see like that this is the the title if you want it to be um, under the text you can just um, make it let's say transparent but it's not called transparency here so right click arrange and send to the back so that means everything else is going to be superposed um, to the image you can see now we can see the text and of course imagine you've got a slide um, uh, you have received um, an impress uh, presentation and you see the an image like that and you want to save it uh, one solution would be to select it and then go edit copy and then open paint um, I don't remember exactly I think it's paint then you have to paste it and then you have to save it of course paint doesn't give you a whole lot of options and then I have to blah 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 and so like spring that takes a lot of time luckily for us impress has a solution so you can just go right click then save as picture and you can choose twice as many uh, options as paint and then I can say okay I'm going to bitmap and I'm going to do uh, spring you can see with a few clicks I've got my picture um, saved and the last thing we can we should learn is that instead of let's see like that instead of using our images uh, there's a library a gallery in impress um, so insert I think it's somewhere I just found it it's uh, as you can see I never use gallery but um, impresses um, graphical interface is quite easy so it takes just a few seconds to find uh, what you need so tools gallery and then you can just um, go through it and I say okay I want to have something like that and you just drop it drag and drop and you've got um, something like that so of course if you go um, let's see it if you go to um, the open office open office um, uh, web page or you can go to Google directly and type open office gallery or you can find 
something like that and clip parts uh, so you've got quite a few things uh, to choose and then you can just uh, um, install them and they're going to appear um, they're going to appear here so if you go like here it says how to install and you've got all the directions which are quite simple actually or you can go install it on clipper gallery theme this is an extension so an extension is a tiny plugin that you can install um, on or to or whatever in impress and the the really cool thing about extensions are is that they can just be installed directly so instead of doing all that um, says um, download file minimize double click blah 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 the extensions you just do like that download extension then you get the extension this is the OXT um, file format and you just click on it and when you click it this is what happens there's the extension manager you just say OK and it gets um, installed so you have nothing to do you just download and just click on it and it's going to be um, is going to be um, installed for you so next time I'm going to uh, so if I close impress and then let's of course let's um, save the file from time to time and if I close and then open again um, impress we're gonna find the gallery here and since I know some of you just call me lazy I'm going to do it I'm going to prove my case I'm going to close up and then I'm going to open it up again and there you go you've got the gallery and you've got the new um, clip arts um, uh, added here so you can choose all that and so it's really cool so I just click 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 and that's all and I've got my new uh, clip arts integrated